breaks every rule in every book and all I have right now are the rules okay you have me what are you doing I'm admitting something that could save us both I love you <sighs> there is no me to love Petra, you're allowed to talk about work. I have a lead on a paralegal situation. Really? You're gonna go from being a lawyer to being a paralegal? What are my options? I'm disbarred and I have to pay the bills. Would well, you wanna move in here? I just, I mean, it's a reprieve until you figure work out. No. Oh, okay. I just wanna help. It seemed like a, like a practical solution. That's why I don't wanna do it. Look. I didn't expect to feel like this about you. But here we are. And I'm in love with you. You are? I knew it was in the draft from the window. Yes. So I don't want to do anything out of convenience or obligation or guilt. I only want to move in if we're both on the same page emotionally. And if you're not there yet, I'm willing to wait. I love you too. Which is scary, because it's so fast. But here's the thing, I've never felt about anyone the way I feel when I'm with you. And I think I just quoted Dirty Dancing, but that's the kind of cheesy thing you make me do. I happen to love Dirty Dancing. And okay. I'm moving in. Good. If you invest wisely, Payoff might just surprise you. Oh, I'm awake. I'm um. See, I'm I'm totally awake. I'm there's hats and gifts and 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 donuts and lingerie. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love you. And speaking of home, since Riverdale's quarantine, the crime rate in town had risen. There had been, for instance, a series of daring cat burglaries. You make an extremely sexy Robin Hood, TT. Stealing from the rich to give to, well, us. You're so crazy. You've always protected me, Em. Ever since I met you, I knew I could count on you. So why did you always push me away? I don't know. But I'm ready to stop. Over the years, I've been in so many failed relationships. And I always.
always made excuses why. But I know the reason. Paige tried to get me to say it, but I didn't want to say it to her. What did Paige? I love you. Hi. Can we talk? But we never do that. I know, but uh, I wanted to thank you for performing that song with me in Glee Club. Because it made me do a lot of thinking. And what I've realized is why I'm such a bitch all the time. I'm a bitch because I'm angry. I'm angry because I have all of these feelings. Feelings for you that I'm afraid of dealing with. Because I'm afraid of dealing with the consequences. And Brittany, I can't go to an Indigo Girls concert. I just can't. I understand that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? No, not really. I want to be with you. But I'm afraid of the talks and the looks. I mean, you know what happened to Kurt at this school? Honey, if anybody were to ever make fun of you, you would either kick their ass or slash them with your vicious, vicious words. Yeah, I know, but I'm so afraid of what everyone will say behind my back. Still, I have to accept that I love you. I love you, and I don't want to be with Sam, Finn, or any of those other guys. I just want you. Please say you love me back. Please. Of course I love you. I do. And I would totally be with you if it weren't for Artie. Okay. It's out of ammo. What do we do now? Sleep. Be bird flappers. I think it's totally scrambled your brain. Victor, Robert, I ran out of darts. I knew you couldn't control yourself. We gotta get out of here. I'm sure our parents are on the way. There's only one drone and two of us, so if we split up, one of us definitely escapes. But hopefully both. I, I don't want to leave you. There's no leaving each other. Not anymore. No matter where we go, what the distance is between us, I will always come back to you. Okay? Everything's gonna be all right, I promise. I love you. I love you. See you back at the hostel in an hour. Okay, your mom is definitely driving this thing. I'm gonna lead it away. I'll always be with you. 